Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 where I stopped because I <laughs> was waiting for the lawn mowing to stop. So hopefully uh, that has ceased and desisted. And yeah, just I, I have I should have maybe summarized it earlier, but last time like I did a little bit. Geralt was the guy who was cool and helped tried to help us in too, help Tally. Um, <coughs> and the other guy, Chorus or whatever, he Quid Quid <laughs> was the one who uh, was trying to get us convicted, right? And now um, it seems like one is more reasonable than the other. Legion just chilling. Shepard Commander, you opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. Well, yeah, She's but... done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. <laughs> Gold star for me. Um... You say Geth fighters are targeting the Corian's live ships. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. For sure, bud. The Geth have fought the Corians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Corian flotilla attacked it. Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Right, I mean, even if the Reapers cost thing. the Geth free will. That is evidently an acceptable trade. Uh, maybe Legion was potentially one of the dissenting voices on that. What'd you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah. That must have been nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it is, you know, point one for machine intelligence. They look at the evidence and they're like, yep. Plus, they've already had encounters with the Reapers themselves. Like, it, that's what the whole heretic split was, you know? What was interfacing with a Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming. Unknowable. Mm. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. Yes, it does make sense. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Your decision was sound. Deleting the heretics resulted in fewer Geth allied with the old machines. So you don't regret killing them? It was logical. If we had not deleted the heretics, we would face an increased number of hostile Geth platforms. Death holds different consequences for synthetics than organics. Do you harbor regrets about deleting the heretics? I mean, I mean, the whole subject of like free will and stuff, you know, so yeah, like even if it's not, like she already has equated deactivating the Geth with murder, you know, and that's not something she, and like genocide, like she avoided the genocide of the Rachnite, you know, um, we let the queen go, you know, we try, we're undoing the genophage of the Krogan, you know, despite the decision we made in two to like keep it going, you know, because like, you know, you, no one's perfect, Shepard's not perfect. Um, she makes the best decisions that she thinks she can at the time with the information she has and the mindset she has at the time, and that can always shift, you know? 
Maybe decisions like deleting heretic Geth or what turned your kind against organics in the first oh, place. Oh, good point, Shepard! We do not condemn it. Action was necessary. It was why we sought your advice. That is a, such, a, such a good point also, honestly, that like, yeah, like deactivation of of Geth is like why they like who who has the decision right like who has the right to decide to like delete a whole group of people just because they're dissent they're a dissenting group right like that can get very thorny very quickly uh, yep. I do worry if Legion was interfaced with a Reaper that does seem very uh, you know just being close to a Reaper can mess with your mind but it's all good we'll talk later we will remain here. Time to make my rounds. I mean, we haven't finished this yet. We still have several, at least a few missions. We can go save people. Uh, Tally, there you are. We can go save people. I haven't heard right. any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a home world. My people need me. You could help your people's home world by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Yeah, I do think Tally is like... She has moments of maturity, where she, and she's definitely changed and become more confident. She was always confident in some things. I just think she had like a like a vulnerability um, to like what people think of her, especially her own people, and that's still there. Um, and she feels this like heavy weight of responsibility that I honestly think she's a little young for. I think she's like she's fairly young, much younger than Shepard. I think um, I can't remember specific ages, but. Uh, like, yeah, like I said, she just seems like the kind of person that does better bouncing around the universe than, like... She's like, my people need me. Like, your people need the what you can bring them with your specific skill set, which is, like, you hopping around the galaxy, finding things and sending things back, you know, sending information, technology, you know? Like, there's different ways you can help your people other than just standing around and being, like, whoop, whoop, you know, and building structures or something. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's not hereditary. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real Admiral. Ah, uh, okay, 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 so she Don't is too young. Don't sell yourself short, Taddy. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. Ooh, so that does give her like an even playing field with the admirals to give her the admiralty label, which does give you some hope that she can be freed to help us after this, which, spoilers, she does come to help us after this. Um, How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? Meh. It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Yeah, totally different code. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. Mm. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your oh, cabin. sick. All right. We will catch up. You better believe it. Let's see, where is everyone? Okay, we'll go talk to Edie and Joker first. I know we need allies, but it's tough to only fight Geth when the Reapers have taken out the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our supply lines. If you lose your supply lines, you lose the war every time. I love how these two are just like... <laughs> constantly have opinions. Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Chirion fuel depot in Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. Woo! Another I've landing the mission. The fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Really? Oh, that? Don't tell the Solarians that. The cure! 
from Malin. I've just heard the news that you carried the genophage and that some of the females from my experiments were involved. Oh, Malin's the, the a-hole. He's still alive? I can't tell you how good this makes me feel. Malin's the one who was doing the the terrible experiments. It hasn't been an hour. I've not thought about what happened on Tachanka and wondered if I did the right thing. This news validates all the pain my experiments caused. No, it didn't. I hope one day to meet the females again and ask for their forgiveness. After you convinced Dr. Solos to spare me, I took his advice and opened a clinic on Omega. I thought it would help make amends for whatever suffering I caused. I had to leave when word got back to Clem Weirlock and they put a bounty on my head for failing to deliver a cure. Maybe now they'll leave me alone. I guess this is the second time you saved my life, Commander. With sincere appreciation, Malin Heblon. Malin. I get it. He, he, was got it. Like, he was trying to do the right thing. I get it. But, like, he got lost in the sauce, you know, and caused a lot of pain that was unnecessary. Like, we apparently, obviously, Morden came up with a solution without doing all of that, you know. So. Or Miranda Shepard, I have something important to tell you. I need to do this in person. Can you in the comments? I'll send a nav point. No vids this time. I promise. Sorry, Miranda. <clears throat> I'll see you in a bit. I have uh, things to do. I'm currently in the middle of a military operation with the Geth and the Koreans. Can't just drop it all. Besides, I need to do a choir. A choir tally. Man, those Korean admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, Meh. who knows? Is a tentacle monster under there? What's that? What's under there? No, <laughs> what is that? What's under there? <laughs> just how fast he said, "What is that? What's under there?" <laughs> good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Adams is good, but I never feel like the engine's running right without Tally around. Kind of a good luck charm. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? I'm being professional. <laughs> no. We are not. <laughs> right, just making sure. Different standards and all. <laughs> and you found He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Get continue to block quarrying access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the quarrying homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. They're blocking specific... I... I and all... Like, how can they block... What? That is Prothean technology. How are they able to block at, like, oh, maybe just, like, block physically? I'm like, there's no way they could hack that. Only the Reapers can do that. Although they did have Reaper upgrade. But then I think they just block the entire relay, not just for, like, specific, like, like hack block the whole relay. Not just for, like, this. only the Quarians, but humans and Batarians, they can go through, you know? I think they mean physically, so we could slip in and out. Especially because they don't have windows, which is a joke from the last game. <laughs> Edie, tell me your thoughts. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new yeah, platform gonna... is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. <laughs> this is an infiltration unit meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. Bah! Edie, did I vocalize <laughs> that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. Oh, snap. You tell him, Edie. Edie, yeah, Edie's unique. Legion's happy to be, you know, what it is. You know, Edie is happy to be what she is, but she does go by she, right? She's not an it, and, uh, is, uh, wants to understand organics. I mean, so, I don't know, it's just, she wants to be able to operate in such a way that she can sort of blend in, I guess, while still being herself. La la la, la la la. Right. Nope. I keep trying to press like M for map. That's not how it works in this game. Tally, I'm a raw sessionist trainer. Pew, pew. There's nobody in my room. That's good. <laughs> they are. It's a Garrus spec in the main battery. Caden's in there, being all like, "Ooh, look at me. I'm romantically staring out the viewport. Shut up. I don't want to hear it." I'm still to this day surprised that that video did so well where I was like love is in the air and I'm not having it and it was when I turned him down to like reinitiate a uh, 
a relationship, I was like, you cease. Oh, do you want to say something? Or do you just salute? Nope. Okay. Let's see. Joker, really? I have work to do. <laughs> what? Just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly assistant. Are you asking her inappropriate I'm questions? I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Joker, really? I have work to do. Don't you have a ship to fly, Joker? Fine, just asking a simple question. Thank you. Blackmail would have been awkward to explain to Edie. <laughs> it's a, it's obviously a question she doesn't want to answer, you jerk. Operative Moraz been sent smuggler manifest, blah, 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 blah. Well, Dextro Amino, inactive. 300 indentured worker slaves from Kashan recaptured, attempting to escape the Reapers. Mostly Batarian, mainly Batarian, what? Oh, wait, what? Smuggler Manifest on Athabascan Class Rider. There's, they have a bunch of dextra amino food, levo amino acid food supplies, plut platinum, plutonium, platinum, alliance fighter craft. Okay, so they have alliance and turian stuff. So they, and these are on the smugglers, they've taken slaves from Karshan who were trying to escape. <gasps> This what you tell me there are smugglers out there who have the time to go into Reaper territory or even close nearby at all and who are in the we are in the middle of an of an invasion and they're like we're gonna make a quick profit by selling to whomst selling people to whomst like well yeah authorities will say the fret in two hours. Yes. In exchange for future favors re wait, what? The Yungus government has agreed to provide the slaves asylum and certificates of citizenship in exchange for future favors. No, you just set them free. No strings attached. What do you mean exchange for future favors rendered? Oh, maybe from her. I see. From Liara. Liara will give future favor, like, of information or something. Ready for the next mission? Yeah. Uh... Upgrades. Do I have any? Do I? How do I do this? Done? Okay. <laughs> Tell you, I gotta make. Enjoy your day. Thank you, Glyph. I have to make my rounds and make sure what 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 sort of talking shenanigans people are up to. I just gotta say, I really appreciate this mod. Still, still appreciating it a lot. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. Oh, oh he loves this. Yeah. Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. It's oh, true. You, Garris. I'd believe just about anything. I love him. Oh? <laughs> we should play poker sometime. <laughs> anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. You're telling me you can't calibrate and talk at the same time? Anyway, someday I just ratcheted up my Garrus romance up the... Not that I have time to play anything. <laughs> Let alone replays of games. I mean, this is technically like a replay, but... Ah, I still haven't finished Act 2 of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> and I have Mirage, and I have Saint There's so many games, and I literally have so little time. And so little storage space. Um... But yeah, putting the Garrus romance up there. I had a renegade run I was doing where I was romancing him. Um, but then I was mad because it was on the original versions. And I could not get the DLCs to work for two. And I refused to play three without at least... Uh, was it Bring Down the Sky in two? Where you, you know, you, you destroy a Batarian planet to destroy the Mass Effect Relay to prevent the Reapers from coming back. Um, at least for a bit. Like, you delay them. Um, because it's really weird to start three and be accused of something that you didn't do 
like that you have no recollection right of doing and like the game dialogue and like certain things like don't make sense like unless you've done it you know um like the game recognizes that you haven't done it and just kind of like throws things at you but if you do it then things get a little more specific to you and so uh it makes more sense that way but yeah Anyway, someday I'll have to do that. <laughs> I've never put a renegade run up on the on the channel either. It's always been Paragon. It's always been this lady. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Well, yeah. Because Reapers weren't enough. I mean, they're machines. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. It, Any 100%. word from Paladin? More so, than her. And I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. Oh, buddy, but this is my boy, right? I will always think about that Shadow Broker DLC or the Shadow Broker like file on Garrus that like if he wasn't working kind of under Shepard or with Shepard that he could basically be a Shepard in his own right you know he could be what what she is you know and he really is like playing as Garrus would be sick you know and so I always feel a little guilty about it but mostly in three I see him as like a comrade and like somebody who keeps Shepard sane throughout the whole thing and. So I guess more on equal ground, but look at my boy, man. He's like advising military people at the high echelon. Look at him go. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both. Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You're a good guy. You're a good leader. You're a good guy also, but... You're a good leader even more than that, which sometimes makes you not a good guy sometimes. Like, just in general, you know? Like, good leaders aren't always good people, even if you hope they can be. Anyway, that's a philosophical question. <laughs> you know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me. Everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. It's actually massively right. different, Shepard. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. See? This is what I was they saying. Get things done. They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? See, and this uh, this question haunts me all the time in this game, and this is one of the reasons that Garrus is such an important character to my character, to my Shepard, is because, like, he's the only one who, like, you have these, like, super serious conversations about, like, the total galactic war, you know? And, like, asking you personal question, questions, like, are you, do, like, do you feel like you can make these calls, or, you know? And I just, Shepard is, like, doesn't want to do that right but he's he's making the argument i started to make earlier about like and that's what the dict the dictator position was in like ancient rome right where like it started out that way anyway like the name dictator comes from that or dictator i think is how it was pronounced but like um in times of extreme crisis the the like senate or whatever would have um would uh, would, would would what is it like vote i don't know make one guy super in charge instead of having like the, du the dual system like the dual console system or whatever you know whatever system they had the one guy had all the power and he had it for like six months or for the duration of the crisis usually and then after that was like no longer i think no longer allowed to hold office but they were the ones who had to make the decision in extreme crisis because there was no way to like operate quickly with like a large group or with like two people butting heads you know so it's true what he's saying like I, I you can't you can't you can't argue against it but you can't deny the effectiveness sometimes and i think that's what iron bull says too right where he says my this, again this is something that sticks with me for like my whole life is that iron bull says that his people the canary don't choose leaders based on like skill or strength or or charisma or anything they choose leaders based on those who are willing to make the hard decisions and then live with the consequences 
not just make the hard decisions, but live with the consequences thereafter, right? And we can try as much as we want to like not have something like that decision where you a billion people die here to save 10 billion people there, but the it really is a brutal calculus, you know, and like you should let them all die, you let 10 billion people die to save 1 billion, you know what I mean? Like it's rough. Anyway, <laughs> philosophy hour. If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. See, right? Like, it is. It's a nice sentiment. And, like, I think Shepard, all Shepard can do, really, is just save the people that she can, right? Like, like, you just, I don't know, like, in the moment, right? Shepard's not making, like, necessarily, like, huge calls. Like, as you'll see later, like, there's stuff that's outside of our control being done. Which is fine. Shepard cannot do, she literally can't do everything. But... If you can, Edie, that would be appreciated. Searching for any mention of your recruits is not a complicated protocol, Major. Trying to find out what happened to your people? Yeah. Edie, make this scope galaxy-wide. And if I can find just one squad, they may lead me to the others. Good luck, Caden. Thanks, Shepard. I'll let you know what happens. I will establish the routine now. Edie, out. Edie, out. Why is she so emphatic about it. Anyway, you need to fix your back. By the way, Shepard, it's been good having Tally around. She's a good egg. <laughs> Wait. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> some kind of Corian insult. I was gonna say a good egg. Like, that's a phrase, right? But, like, as a human phrase. But, uh, definitely, I, I, I could see because they have to be in bubbles when they're little. I could see that being, like, a weird Corian insult, maybe. But, no. I... Caden's a good man. I think if I hadn't romanced him and had him as a companion right in three, it w I wouldn't even mind romancing maybe him in three. You know what I mean? But um, because I romanced him in two and then he was an absolute dingleberry about it. <laughs> you cheated on me. I will never forgive him for that. But I do. He will always be, I think, like a very steadfast character. In, in many other ways. It's just when you romance him, he gets all weird about it. <laughs> uh, Jadari. Wee! Shh, phone, we're busy. Anyway, Tally's not down here, and only Adams is down here because I'm a monster and I killed people! Nothing to report, Commander. Good, I'm just coming to say hi to my ship. The heart of my ship. Oopsie, just experimenting with some angles on the heart of the ship. I don't have Brunt in here, but I can't go bother the reporter lady. Breaking now, a nightmare on Earth. Human leaders using military force on their own people. They say it's to prevent loose cannons from provoking the Reapers. But are they indoctrinated? The Resistance speaks out, in the only place they can, the battle space. Yeah, also I just, I cannot, her voice grates. It irritates me. Irritates me. Yeah, Javik, I, Javik, Javik, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been a while. Javik, my boy. I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. It appears I have that effect on you. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. Oh no, Tally! And I understand that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. The Ara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive quarians were considered attractive in my age. What? It's a pity no one can appreciate it now. Right. Oh my. You know what? I think I have something important to do now. I won't keep you. Uh, that's Javik not making any friends. 
And I was all like, Javik, what do you mean? That's such like an externalized, like, oh, it's a pity nobody can appreciate how attractive you are. I was like, listen, because I just, I, if I want to wear a Snuggie all day, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's nobody's freaking business. I don't have to look attractive for other people. Nobody has to look attractive for other people. You know what I mean? Like, it's not an obligation. It's not a right for other, other people to look, to be able to like, ooh, I think you're attractive. You know what I mean? Like, there's like a sense of entitlement there. Like, why can't I appreciate how attractive you are? Like, shut up, Javi. Your feminist theory classes need to start right now. <laughs> and your species classes, like all of them. Oh, sick. I did notice Gaff. he was looking at Legion. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Because I Legion like it. helped us before. It. I like it. It's still a machine. Yeah, well, you're also an alien from very, very far out of time. I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? The creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI seized the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. Well, I think according to like the machine intelligence, they think they're doing the right thing, right? And they're like, oh no, we're gonna save this species, and this was how they decided to do that, I guess, you know? Or maybe they were just like, ah, rah, you know? They can be evil, they can be bad. Maybe, but he's not like the other Geth. It! You can't know that. They are more alien than you and I are to each other. Just because Legion isn't like us doesn't mean he can't be trusted. You're wrong. Throw it at the airlock. It would survive. How can you be that certain? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Mm. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that. But I see your point. Well, they can know why and then change it. While we search aimlessly for ours, in their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. I mean, just because they have a different... Like, he, he makes a good point, right? Like, that they are fundamentally different than any organic species would be they're like trying to understand each other at least like you have like you know you have the need to breathe something you know like you have the need to reproduce in some way you know like some basic things like that you know um which do we i i don't know how hanar reproduce now that i think about it <laughs> um but yeah like and our like I don't know it would be I think it, it might come up later where it's like very odd for the Geth to have to look their like their god in the face essentially the Corian people like to it, like how would that change you as some sort of sentient thing you know sentient entity if you had to look your god in the face and see that it was flawed you know see that they were flawed or who you know what I mean like I feel like that would. That would be an odd existence, right? Um, but I don't see why machines would be like, mm, they're inefficient, so they shouldn't exist. Like, there's a lot of things that are inefficient. Are they going to, like, destroy entire ecosystems, too, just because they're inefficient? Like, evolution isn't, like, survival of the fittest. It's survival of the luckiest, you know? Which is sometimes the fittest, and sometimes it's the weirdest, you know? <laughs> so, like... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe they would. There could You could have a machine intelligence that would, like, destroy everything. Uh, I mean, obviously, you have Horizon Zero Dawn, but that's, like, kind of different. That was human-made again, but it was, like, this, like, ov like there was no oversight, and there was just some really stupid decisions made. Any machine that can consume biomatter is a bad, bad, bad idea. For, and for, ooh, and for combat purposes, uh, it was just, uh, anyway, that's that game. 
There must be another way. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. And then gave them the power to surpass you. Well, not surpass necessarily, but... only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. To exist the differently. of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. Mm -hmm. What is going on? My phone is popping. My phone is popping up. Okay, we haven't quite finished the walk around. Ooh, no machine. All right, with that, sorry, I got I got uh, text messages about Italy. Um, my sister is she's crafting her list. Uh, do we have any? I don't think we have anything down below there. And I tried to fit all the conversations into one. Oh wait, no, never mind. We'll finish the conversations in the next one, actually, because I still have to go up and talk to Tally, but. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, uh, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You've gone above and beyond in supporting me in the channel, and I cannot thank you enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.